Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we have a story titled, My BH Feels There's a Little Hope for Him. By the way, I had to search up what BH is and it's better half. <laughs> There's some lingo in Reddit that I need to learn sometimes. I've learnt most of it, but I've never seen BH before. <laughs> Anyways, before we get into the video, just wanted to remind you of the Patreon channel. The link is in the description if you want to check it out. I get to read more stories over there, especially ones that are explicit. Things I can't say on YouTube. So if that sounds interesting, head down to the description and click on the link and check it out. Let's just get straight into the video. I, 48 female, had an intense affair with a friend. Brackets, he's been completely cut off and blocked everywhere for four months. This affair saw me doing with a fair partner things I had never done with before with better half and overall being a lot more sexually open. It ended when I felt a sudden burst of guilt, <laughs> always does, and decided to end it with AP. My goal was to take it to the grave and be the best wife ever. But AP was vengeful and found my husband's email somehow and sent him screenshots and gritty details of the affair. First of all, discussing of AP to, to be vengeful, but also discussing of you to just have an affair in general. So if you never had an affair with this person, nothing would have happened. It's kind of icky that they are vengeful of it, but also if he never had told your husband, your husband would never know. So. The balance between good and evil right now is weighing each other out. This was five months ago. I came completely clean immediately after being confronted and answered any questions that better half had, no matter how gritty they were. We cried heavily that night and I apologized more times and cried more tears at night than I probably have in my entire life. We have been trying art and have been marriage counseling. I also have an individual therapist. He doesn't, and he has expressed not wanting one. My husband has always been great. It's sad to say, but my affair was what I've learned to be called a cake eater affair. Our uh, intercourse life was good. I guess a section of my why was that I was afraid to show what I thought was a S-L-U-T-T-Y side to him. Mm, okay. Because I was afraid that he would see me in a different light, hence why I kept our intercourse vanilla but explored with AP. AP was a friend, but there was no romantic connection involved. Simply intercourse. Okay. It's kind of sad that you felt like you couldn't go to your husband in that sense, but that does not excuse cheating and having an affair, of course. But it is a bit sad that you couldn't be comfortable with your husband in that. Um, but that seems like it's an insecurity within itself, because unless it had stated that he is very judgy, that's your own insecurity. Our intercourse life is non-existent and it's my fault. But a half gets anxiety whenever we begin getting intimate. He has told me that having regular vanilla intercourse won't fulfill me because he knows what I have done with AP. Even though I've reassured him countless times that intercourse with him is great in any capacity. He also refuses to try any kinkier stuff. He thinks I'm trying to recreate what I had with AP and that since he's not experienced with that type of intercourse, that there will be no way to adequately fulfill my needs. Now you've just made him insecure. All I'm saying is in relationships, we all know talking is the best solution to anything. Before she had gone and had an affair, she probably should have talked to her husband about what she wants to try, what she wants to do all that kind of stuff and this would never happen of course well we never know she could have still <laughs> had an affair for different reasons reasons but you know hopefully you get the jits of what i'm trying to say i messed up when i told him that learning the experience with him and doing it together with me would be great he got angry and said that if i truly feel that way i wouldn't have went to find someone else and that we would have done this from the start so obviously he isn't too judgeful if he's saying that now. He then went to sleep on the couch, even though I begged him to come back and told him that I would leave the bed. There's not much I can say, you should have just talked to your husband. That's always the thing, eh? I am devastated at the destruction I have caused in my relationship. Better half used to be a jokester that had enough energy to do it anything. I don't know what's meant to be in that sentence to make it make sense. Um, anyways. <laughs> Now he is aloof and seems like all of his energy is depleted. We have two adult daughters and both have come to me asking what's wrong with dad because he can almost be zombie-like at times. He's told me that he doesn't want to tell anyone about the affair right now because he feels embarrassed. I never once saw him cry before the affair and since 
I've seen him cry so many times. And it makes me want to just disappear into nothingness. I feel bad that he thinks it's embarrassing for him. Realistically, it's embarrassing for your wife. She's the one that (laughs) wasn't loyal. My husband has expressed not being able to sleep because he has reoccurring dreams of the affair. The other night, he jolted awake, waking me up. I asked him what the dream was about, and at first he refused to say it, but finally he said he was tied up, and me and AP were standing above him, pointing and laughing at him. You said he's not in therapy. I think he needs to be in therapy, and I generally, obviously, you are trying to work through it, but I don't know. It's going to haunt him for a long time, and I don't know how he's going to get over this with you. Being around all the time. Not the voice group. <laughs> We brought this up in marriage counselling and the counsellor said that it's his mind manifesting humiliation he feels. Yeah, I forgot that they actually go to that too. But I feel like he needs to go to his own separate one just because he needs to be able to talk freely with someone about how he can get over that and maybe get over her. Get <laughs> Leave her, you know? He feels as if he's not good enough. That me and AP taunt him by doing arcs behind his back i feel like he's meant to be doing stuff behind his back okay he has also stated that he feels like he has no hope and that he will never be enough for me i tell him that i love him more than anyone and that i will gain his trust back and show him that he means more to me than anyone i have also told him that the affair was a reflection of my poor character and selfishness and had nothing to do with him but he doesn't believe this how would he believe that you did (laughs) I always say this, but it's the worst way possible to hurt somebody and like mentally break them is cheating and having an affair. Affair especially. I feel like one-off cheating obviously is horrible still, but having an affair, even if you're not emotionally infested, you obviously are somewhat because you keep going back to the same person. So how is he meant to not feel like it's a bit of his fault or like not his fault, but like it's something to do with him? I have given him a timeline, I comforted him whenever he needs, and I let him know whenever he needs it that I am in this for us, and that I am truly sorry for what I did, and will make it up to him. We had so many heart-to-heart talks with both of us crying. There are times where I get so filled with guilt and shame that I feel like I can't breathe. I try to keep those to myself as much as I can, because I know I need to be there for him. But sometimes I can't hide. And he will comfort me, which makes me feel even worse. He obviously really loves you if he's still there trying. I have totally screwed up his self-esteem and his perspective of himself. Me and our relationship. Yeah, we know. he's definitely, his, his self-esteem is very low right now. I wish I could take away all of his pain and feel like myself. That way he wouldn't have to go through this, but I can't. And I just need to find a way to ease it for him. Has anyone else wayward or portrayed dealt with this kind of affair where the wayward spouse was more sexual with ap for bs's what helped you i don't know what bs's mean it's meant to be ph i don't know they're using lingo i don't know for bs's what helped you or what would you want ws so do or say in order to help for waywards how did you navigate helping your spouse while also going through the pain of what you caused now i'm happy that's over because the the grammar in that was so bad you just don't even understand i have to read these sometimes and i have to just like think i had to repeat so many sentences over and over because the there's no grammar in these sometimes anyways normally i'm like leave him but well there's always the fact that i feel like if you, you should leave him and he can probably get over this but obviously it's up to him um he needs more help with actually like a professional i think he needs to go to therapy for himself um to get through these feelings that he's having um i think being it bottled up might be the worst thing for him which he probably is because the only way he talks to someone about this whole thing is marriage counseling which you are there with him at all times so he doesn't really like i know he seems like he's being quite open with her but we really don't know and this is from her point of view, so we don't actually know how he's fully feeling within himself. Obviously, his self-esteem is in the ground, six feet under. We can see that. And he's obviously blaming himself and think everything... Like, he's putting a lot of it on himself, which I feel like that's something he needs to work through himself. 
nothing you're going to say, nothing you're going to do, it's really going to help him because you broke that trust and how can he trust anything that you say to him, you know? Let me know what you thought about this in the comments. What would the advice be to her? I know I always say leave, but I'm just thinking he is obviously mentally down right now. I just, the, my my main advice is get him, to, get him to talk to someone else that is not involved in your life kind of thing. That's it for today's video. Don't forget about the Patreon channel. The link is in the description. If you want to check it out, head down there. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and to like, and I'll see you in another video, guys. Bye.